In this section, we're going to look at these two icons. These icons enable us to write in text, but without automatic symbolization. Click on the top one of these two, and in the document. I'll start to type. Keep an eye on this window, bottom right here, as I'm typing. You'll see that the symbols appear after the space for each word, even though they're not appearing above the word in the actual frame. So if I type the weather was good when we went on the bus. So you can see that as you type you get symbols appearing down here. If I press return now, the frame is getting larger, the text is staying the same size, and we can carry on typing. Say so it was a long journey. You can also click in any of the words afterwards, and if you look again, bottom right, you can see the symbols that illustrate that word. This sort of frame here expands as we carry on typing, rather like this sort of frame expanded when we were writing with symbols. You can probably guess now what will happen if we use this lower frame. I'll drag now to make quite a small frame to make it easier to illustrate the point, and I'll type the same text. The weather was good when we went on the bus and you can now see that the text is shrinking and the frame is staying the same size. Just as before I can right button click in here to get the drag points, drag the frame out and exactly the same as we did with the graphic frame here I can now click on the expand to fit button and the text will expand to look a closer fit to the actual frame there. We can right button click again so that we can carry on typing and say it was a long journey. If you actually want to do most of your writing like this and you want to produce the symbol, say just on the word journey, you can click down here and the word there will be illustrated by the symbol. And you can choose the symbol that you want or you can switch it off altogether. So the same with the weather here. We can click on either of the weather symbols or we can choose to switch it off. This has made the text smaller because it made space for the graphics. If we want to make it larger again, we can just click on the Expand to Fit button and the text will get bigger. I'm going to write now in another frame here a few different words, which shows that this can be quite useful if you have perhaps more able children using the program. If I write pair and pair, you can see that as we type click on the word, it will illustrate the difference between the two spellings of the word pair. And there, and there, again, over there, there belonging to them, you can get the, the difference in meaning. If you want to see the symbols, as we said, you can click there. Alternatively, you can press the F9 button. So if I now press F9, it will switch the symbol on or off, and here, clicking in Journey, the F9 button will switch the symbol on, will show you the next one, and will switch it off. So it will go through the sequence of possible symbols. I'm just pressing F9 continuously now to do that. Sometimes it's easier to use the F9 key than it is to click down here. So we've seen now how you can write in text, but at the same time, you can see quite separately in a separate window the symbols that illustrate that text. Next time, 
we shall look at a comparison, a more close comparison, between the two sets, the graphic writing and the text writing, and illustrate some of the ways where one can be more useful than the other.